Okay, so that bit of my hair wants to go down there, that bit wants to go over there. Yeah, that's not happening. Right. Um, hello, I am the Baking Mathlete, and last week, or over a week ago, I talked about my running injuries, and this week I'm going to talk about my swimming injuries, because I've got quite a few. Um, <laughs> And I haven't I haven't written down anything, so this is just going to be like a spewing of words. And I will be editing this, um, because my spewing of words means that I'll be umming and erring a lot. So here goes. When I was about thirteen or fourteen years old, um, we did um, a lesson on butterfly. Uh, we had to do a set of about eight lengths um, of butterfly and um, about halfway through my calves seized up completely so they were really painful and I had to be pulled out of the pool uh, by the teacher and basically he got me to sit down on the side uh, with my legs out in front of me and basically told me to push down my knees and reach for my feet and because I wasn't as fit then as I am now um, I couldn't do that so um, so I was re I was there reaching for my uh, for my toes and the and the teacher just basically massaged uh, my calf muscles because they were screaming in pain at the at the time um and <laughs> it was extremely painful um yeah and uh up until a couple of years ago i wasn't able to swim butterfly properly for more than half a length before my calves started to seize up again um yeah that was basically half my life i wasn't able to swim more than half a length um of butterfly um so yeah and over the over the years um i like when i started learning i didn't actually wear goggles uh, for the first few years um, because uh, the goggles that my mum kept on getting me were so bad like the the goggles the bit those bits of the goggles kept on uh, falling off um, the bit for the nose was uh, digging into my nose so much that I just didn't want to wear them at all. Um, so I didn't wear goggles until I was about 13 or 14. Um, yeah, when I was basically swimming lengths all the time um, with having to dodge around people um, and because I didn't wear goggles I kept on swimming into the wall so I'd be there swimming and then whack that I would be face first into the wall um, yeah I've got permanent bruising there and well, I think it's permanent bruising anyway. Um, but like round there is kind of painful, um, and they've been dark for well since I was about sixteen, and I've actually fallen asleep a few times when I've been swimming. Um, so that's a 
another swimming into the wall a few stories there um over the past 10 years i think um i've had a few swimming injuries from um either other people or my own kind of not looking where i'm going um so the main one that i keep on having um is where my fingers specifically the bit between my nails and my, the skin of my nail and the skin of my fingers um go exactly where the uh lane rope discs are so i'd be swimming along and the so i'd be swimming along and the disc i would disc would be there and i would get my fingers caught right in the middle of it and that's happened quite a few times i haven't lost my nails um um from doing that but i have had um the professional swimmers um, or the triathletes and and the really fast swimmers as well using their paddles um, and the paddles have gone in exactly the same places between the nail and the skin and that really hurts like a lot um, talking about paddles um, like the hand paddles um, I've been whacked in the face with them. I've been scratched by them. Um, and I've even had my hands squashed by them because of people overtaking me as I'm turning. Other types of injuries I've had um, have been from um, me overtaking people. Now, uh, when you're swimming in lanes, you're supposed to tap the foot of the person in front of you that you're going to overtake. And uh, so I do that. But they either stop completely, which means that you swim into them. Uh, so both of you end up with injuries. Or they just ignore you completely and um, end up pushing into you um, as you're setting off for your next length basically um, and one time this happened um, <laughs> um, I told the person to look where they're pushing off um, because a few times I'd overtaken him I tapped his foot as well um, to tell him that I was overtaking him and he'd I'd pushed off and he'd then at the same time pushed off as well but he'd gone into my stomach so I've I I was basically uh, punched in my stomach while I was swimming um, so I told him to watch where he pushes off and to watch for other people overtaking him and he went on a big shouty rant a uh, big shouty rant um, at me and and I was just saying look you need to look where you're going because it's the fast lane and you're being overtaken all the time what else have I had happen Oh yeah, um, I've also been uh, kicked a few times uh, because uh, some people have, have got really big kicks. Um, either they're doing breaststroke, so their kicks just go wide out um, and have no regard for anyone else in the lane, or they 
have such a wide kick for their um, for their front crawl or their backstroke that they end up kicking whoever's next to them. Um, yeah, that was painful. <laughs> um, and uh, the most recent uh, injury I've had is um, some uh, some people have pushed off uh, for a new length and I was just coming up to finish my length um, when uh, the wave of them pushing off was at the perfect time for me to be breathing in on that side um, so instead of breathing in air I breathed in water um, so I spent the next length to, to get back down to the shallow end, um, basically choking on water. It was not an, it was not a nice, uh, it was not a nice thing to happen. Um, and it was extremely painful because like when you when you have water going down your windpipe your throat closes up um, so that water can't go down but it also means that you can't breathe so on that length down to the shallow end I was gasping and wheezing and um, basically struggling for breath um, and to make sure that I could actually get my uh, mouth out to breathe um, where there was not going to be any water coming in um, I had to breathe right next to the wall for the whole length yeah I uh, I didn't like that at all. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I was asked if I was okay, but um, I'm going to. I've basically made sure, and I'm going to make sure when the pools are open again, uh, that that never happens to me again because it's not nice. Um, yeah when you're when you're breathing make sure that other people around you are not creating such big waves that the water goes in instead of air um and that's my swimming injuries I'm not sure what else to say now <laughs> um let me know if you want to um, hear about any of my other exercise mishaps. Um, just let me know. Okay, like, comment and subscribe please. <laughs>